entertain after all's opportunity knocks for the creatively subliminal comes as a result of our appeal to discover if any of the watching audience can claim to be a footnote in showbiz slash rock and roll history. Tonight we bring you a man who for a very short time was both a film star and bass player in Frank Zappa's Mothers of Invention. His name is Martin Lickett. That, that, that's not Martin Lickett. This is Martin Lickett right here. Martin Lickett. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're an artist's impression of Martin Lickett. He probably still is bass player in the Mother of Invention. No, this is Martin Lickett. <laughs> The real Martin Lickett. Thank you. Who knew? Who knew? You used to be bass player in the Mothers of Invention. That's right. Really? Yes. How did it happen? I was a bit of a frustrated pop star. Uh huh. Came down to London, got a job cleaning dirty uh, marks off walls. Yeah. Uh, was sent to Apple, got a job as an office boy there, then was uh, Ringo's assistant. Uh, oh, Ringo's assistant? Yeah. Used yeah. to drive him around and answer mail and stuff like that. Uh huh. And, um, of all the Beatles? Of all the Beatles, yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> one day... You really are in the sidelines and in the shadows here, I feel, yeah. <laughs> so you're driving Ringo around, and Yeah, one day Frank rang up and said, you want to be in this film with Keith Moon and Theodore Bickell? Rang you up? No, no, oh. rang Ringo. Yeah. And uh, the day before filming started, uh, Frank's bass player walked out. And they were originally going to have Wilfred Bramble in a wig and Noel Redding dubbing the bass bits. But, yeah, uh, I can see that. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, yeah. you can't because it didn't work out. So they said, right, uh, you'll do. So in I went and uh, sat up for about three nights with Ian Underwood. They just said, you'll do? You're yeah. the bass player in the well, Ringo said, invention? Ringo said, Martin does a bit of bass. You know, that was it. Did you do a bit of bass? I did a bit of bass, but most of it was overdubbed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How long was the gig in Frank Zappa's band? How long were you in that? Uh, the film was about a week, and uh, we were going to do the Albert Hall, but we yeah. were banned because of the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, do you regret not being a, a, a rock and roll idol? Could Not, you have lived that lifestyle? I think I could. What do you do today? I'm a barrister. Ah. <laughs> <You're>, <clears throat> does anyone ever say, hey man, listen, used to, the, the judges ever call you to approach the bench and say, <laughs> listen man, you, you're, in, you're in the mothers, right? And you, say, and you say, yeah, sure. And he goes, hey, I used to be in the groundhogs. How you doing? <laughs> Does that, that, does I it... know the very judge you're on about. Really? <laughs> yeah, and you're both trying some poor kid for having a joint, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh... No, come on, no drug references. This is not the counterculture. But do people ever... Uh, do you ever publicise this fact? Only through you. Only through me. <laughs> well, Martin, it's, it's good to know, you, you know you, you're real, because when I first heard the story, I thought it cannot be true. You look every inch. Every inch, someone who's manning the barricades and doing it for Oz and It magazine. <laughs> what year was this, by the way? 1971. Okay, um, let, let, let's take the time. We can see what you were like then. Just, I walked just... in the room, they all went, yeah. Uh, yeah, I in the room. yeah, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, before we go, let's give, let's give him his prize. We'd like to give someone, it's a copy of 200 Motels. Okay? Thank you very much. But in fact, we ran it in the office, and as you know, it's absolutely awful. Yeah. It's almost unwatchable, so we, we take Slade in flame over it. <laughs> we figured that out. <laughs> 